Hello, if you're new to Farming Simulator, this is what you've been looking for. I've had a lot of requests for a guide for beginners. However, if you're a pro, don't go away. I appreciate it if you watch some of this and hit us up in the comments with suggestions, things I left out, or if you think it covers what it needs to cover. So you're gonna come up with this screen, you're gonna start with career, and yours is gonna be blank. Okay, I'm gonna find an empty spot here. And then you're gonna have these three choices. You got new farmer, farm manager, start from scratch. Uh, new farmer is on the easy mode. You start with $100,000, a couple of pieces of land, usually a couple of fields, and some basic equipment. Uh, farm manager, you have a million and a half dollars, but you have no land, no equipment. You get to set everything up yourself. That's not really a place to start. And it's on the medium economic difficulty mode. And start from scratch, you start out with $500,000, but you owe $200,000 and have nothing to show for it because you have no land and no equipment either. So, and it's on the hard mode. You can change each of these modes once you're into the game too, along with anything else. So if you're a new farmer, we're gonna start on the new farmer easy mode. That just makes sense. So you're gonna click on this and then the map's gonna load. There's three maps you can pick from, Elm Creek, Pou Belleron, which is a French, French map, and then Elingrat, which is also in Europe. Uh, we're gonna do Elm Creek, because there's a lot of uh, information about that. And we're gonna let that load. Okay, our map's loaded. Just hit A, and you're gonna come to this, and this is your menu where you set up your character. Uh, that's actually kind of what I look like right there. So you can go through, uh, if you see the menu on the left, you navigate that with the RB and LB button going up and down. So I got my facial stuff picked out. Oops. You can go down to hairstyles, uh, facial hair, mustaches, uh, shirts, outfits, shirts, pants, shoes, hats, even gloves and glasses, and then you're back. So once you get that all solidified, you hit B to confirm and you're gonna be into the game. Now you're gonna to get to this screen here, it's gonna tell you or ask you if you wanna do the tutorial. I recommend the first time you play the game that you say yes. Right now today I'm gonna to say no, but it's really helpful to give you a guided tour. You can always turn that off on the menu and you can always turn it on on the menu. In fact, it's gonna tell us if you like to turn it on later, you can go in the menu and turn that on. Okay, some basic navigation for me to walk. I'm, gonna, I'm on the Xbox. So if you have a console and you're playing, or if you're on a PC and you're playing with a controller, you're gonna push forward on the left joystick to walk. And of course, right goes right, left goes left, back goes back. You turn with the right joystick. So that's how you navigate your character. And if you're walking, you wanna go faster, you can hit the right trigger and he's actually gonna run. So that's kind of cool. All right, let me show you some menu items. Well, first, there's some help things you can see on the top left of the screen there. Uh, you press A to jump, B to crouch. Oh, I'm sorry, Y to crouch. Can't read. Okay, and A to jump. Okay, the top right shows you the weather. Uh, it's important because if it starts raining, you can't harvest your crops. You'll get a reduction in those. Shows the time and then your time lapse. We have it at five times. We'll see that in a second. How much money you have there. Uh, so if you zoom in on your joystick and press the three lines there, right here, you're going to come up with this menu. And this shows the basic map. Uh, you use the uh, left and right trigger to zoom in and out. You use the right joystick to navigate the map. And the left joystick is gonna move that menu on the right. Okay, you can see all your crops there. I'm gonna move it to the right. Grass is always blacked out. You move it again, you got your growth stages of different crops. You have your soil composition, and we'll talk about this later. Uh, different things you're interested in, your vehicles, your equipment, uh, areas to take things to where animals are different things like that that you might be interested in contracts you have going and you're back to your crops so to navigate the left then you use the LB and RB button 
Okay, this one is your drive map, and this is where you use the artificial intelligence AI workers to maybe you need to take a load to the market for you, or they're working on a field or something like that, and you can see where they are and what they're doing. This is your crop calendar. It's going to show you when and where you can plant different things. So, for example, wheat, you plant it in September. The green is where you plant, and the orange is when you harvest. So you're going to plant that in September or October, harvest that in July or August. So if you plant it in September, you're going to harvest in July. If you plant it in October, you're going to harvest in August. Most of those have a couple of month window for each. Uh, February's, or February, the only thing you can plant in February is cotton, and you're going to harvest that in October. You could also plant it in March. But you can scroll down. Sometimes there's more crops at the bottom than there is. And some of these maps will have modded crops added. And in fact, on the uh, premium expansion coming out November 14th, 2023, uh, they're adding three new crops to this map also. So the next one down is weather. Uh, so you can see kind of what's going on with the weather, if it's going to snow next month or whatever, or tomorrow or whatever. Uh, the next one down shows you the crops that you have and or items you can sell. Like there's other things down there once you really get into it. Maybe you're making planks and furniture and you're selling that. Okay. So that shows you, when you look to the right there, it shows you where you would go to sell these things. You can go over here. Hey, the highest price is there. So, you know, you click on that. If you hit A, it'll highlight it so you can see it on your map. It'll be lit up with a uh, trail of light that you can see. And you also notice that so you can drive to it. Uh, if you hit the X button on control, console, you can see where, uh, where, when you want to sell your crops. Okay, you can see when you want to sell them. So, like, for this particular one, wheat, even though you harvest that in August, September, since the market's kind of flooded there, you want to hold off till January to sell it if you can, because you're going to get the most money. That's why you have a silo. Okay, you store that. Oops, let me go back. Sorry. All right, next one down is your equipment. This is all the equipment you own right now with this base game. It shows you what it's worth. That 100% there shows you uh, the maintenance level. So everything starts out good on this map. As you use it, that's going to drop, and you have to take it to the shop and get maintenance on it, which costs you money. You can see how many hours it has on it and how many months you've owned it. Uh, this is a really important screen here. This is your, your financial screen, your money. Uh, all your positive money will be in white. All your negative money or payouts will be in red. And don't forget to scroll out up and down using the left joysticks. You can see uh, different things on there. Okay, vehicle running cost, your maintenance, loan interest, you can borrow money. The standard, uh, if you borrow, want to borrow money here, you hit X in increments of $5,000 and you pay it back by hitting the Y button in increments of $5,000. And you'll pay about 4% a year and then that's paid monthly. So every month that will show up in your thing at night when you go into the next day, how much loan interest you had to pay. Next one down is animals. We don't have any yet, but you could have various types of animals, cows, pigs, sheep, uh, chickens, and so forth, horses. Uh, next one down is really cool. It's contracts. Some of the maps don't have these, but most of them do. So when you're starting out, it's a great way to learn uh, some things about the game, equipment, the different fields, and also earn some extra money. I recommend you borrow the items by hitting Y to do the contract because it's going to give you everything you need and you pick it up at the shop, drive it to the field, take care of it. Uh, and once you do the contract, you don't have to turn it in. The equipment just disappears. Uh, we don't have any productions yet, but this is say you bought, you, know, you get your farm going, you're making a lot of canola, you could buy the oil plant and turn that canola into canola oil, which you would sell instead of the canola itself and make a little more money. Uh, this shows you all your stats from the game, how long you've been playing and whatnot. Okay, now this is uh, really important. This is the game settings. You're gonna, you can change the name of the game right here and call it something. Uh, this is your auto save. I recommend you leave that on unless you're doing something major in the game, like you're adding a building or doing landscaping. You want to turn, save the game and turn that off until you get your thing completed and then go back and turn it on. That way, if you mess up, you can go back uh, to where you were. 
This is the time scale, so you can have anywhere from real time all the way up to 360. You can even go slower than real time. I actually have done that before because it was getting dark and I wasn't done harvesting and I've slowed time down. Uh, normally, I'm going to leave that at five times. Uh, this is your economic difficulty. This affects the amount you're getting for your crops. At the easy mode, you get the most money. Normal mode, you get a little bit less, but still more than you would on the hard mode. So we're going to leave that on easy mode. And this turns the traffic on and off. I like the realism of it, but every now and then if you get stuck, I've been stuck by a bunch of cars before that trapped my harvester and I couldn't get across the road. I would go turn the traffic off, cross the road, then turn it back on. Seasonal growth. In farming similar to 22, you have seasons. In farming 19, farming similar to 19, that was an option or a mod, I guess, that add that. So you have it here. I like having seasons on. It gives you a, a sense of realism where you have to plant these months and harvest in those months. And, and it makes you think about what crops you want to plant when to kind of stay busy throughout the year. And right now I have it set for one day per month. Uh, I'm going to leave that off. You can make it a certain month if you want. I'm going to leave it off. I got snow on. Crop destruction, you probably want to turn off to start with. Plowing, uh, you might want to start with it off. You can have it on if you want, but you periodically you're going to have to plow your field. And it takes longer than cultivating your field. Field stone, probably want to turn that off. Uh, in Georgia here, I, I grew up working on my granddaddy's farm, and we don't have field stone here unless you're in a rocky environment. That might be an issue. Lime you can leave on, but it's going to cut your production if you don't uh, take care of that. Also with weeds, same thing. Dirt, normal, automatic engine start, leave these on. The trailer full limit, you probably want to leave that off to start with. If you turn it on, it's going to be... You're going to hit the weight limit of the trailer before it gets completely full based on what you're putting in there with some things. I usually put this on normal for fuel. And for the AIs, what this is, is when they're out working, do they go buy uh, fuel themselves or seeds themselves or fertilize themselves? If you have it set on buy, they automatically just comes out of your money and they're filling it back up. So if you had starting with a half a tank and they plow a whole field, they're going to end up with half a tank also. Uh, and they charged you for the difference there. Okay, next one down is another menu. This is your help setting window. On the top left, you want that on. Unless you're colorblind, you want to change this one. Interactive zone markers. You're going to see a yellow and black marker around where, where you might pick up pallets of eggs, say outside your chicken pen. Uh, info trigger, you want that on because it shows you uh, where to drop stuff off. Same thing with the field info. You can walk on a field, look at it, and it tells you some information about the field. Uh, units of money, you, your choices are dollars, pounds, and euros. So based on where you are, same thing with miles or kilometers, Fahrenheit or Celsius, or hectares or acres. Okay, you, you can actually play a little radio with music in your tractor if you want to listen to that while you're plowing. Okay, uh, reset vehicle camera. Do you want it to reset every time you go to the thing? Or do you want the last position you have? I usually have that off. I want it set like I had it. You want the suspension on. That gives it a realistic look. Easy arm controls. That's going to be later anyway. Camera sensitivity. Steering. Now, the steering sensitivity, based on what your controller or what type of instrument you're using, you can go back and set that more or less sensitive to your own needs. Uh, leave these alone. And there you go. You can play with these volume switches. And that's it for there. The last screen there shows a help menu uh, where you can scroll through with the left joystick. And it has a lot of different things, information about the game, what the different symbols are, stuff like that. I'm not going to read all that to you, but something to look at in your spare time. All right, let's go to the next menu button, which is this one, the two little squares there. And you press that, and the, the default there comes up on equipment that you can purchase. Okay, so if you were to click on a small tractors, for an example, it shows you all these, how much they cost, and what their capabilities are. Uh, something else cool, if you're looking at a particular one, I'll show you on a harvester. If you're looking at this harvester, say that yellow one, and you push in on the right joystick, 
it will show you what equipment goes with that so you don't mess up and get the wrong one, which is pretty cool. Okay, so these, the first one there with the tractor picture shows things that are self-propelled, okay? Under that are things you have to either pull or push with a tractor or some other piece of equipment. Okay, and that's all the different things there. And each one has, you know, items under its category. And it shows the capabilities. Next one down shows other things you might need to buy from the shop. You pick all this up from the shop. Uh, big pallets here, big bag pallets such as fertilizer, big bags, other things, other pallets liquid fertilizer, herbicide, all the way over to tree sampling, sugar cane, popular, different bells you might want to get. Uh, next one down is really cool. It's packs. That's new for farming similar to 22s. You can click on that. Uh, if you select that, like if I pick uh, grapes, it's going to show me the equipment I need for grapes, the very basic equipment. Sometimes there's better equipment in there, but this kind of shows you what you need to get started with that particular item. So that's really useful. Uh, the next one down on the menu is used vehicles. This is really important if you're going through the game, like right now, they got that Massey Ferguson tractor on sale for $38,000, uh, which is not a bad deal. It has 170 horsepower. It's 60% off the normal price. So that might be something I'm looking at right now. I got a hundred grand. I could purchase that, do a little maintenance on it, and I'd still be way ahead financially. If you go down one more, it's going to show you the equipment that you have, and each one has a category within the category if you have more than one. Only want to have more than one with right now are tractors, but well, and weights, and you can see those. So, all those little items. Next one down shows equipment if you lease it. So, when you get a piece of a gear, let me just hop back up here. So, if you're at this and I want to get this tractor, have the option of purchasing that. If I purchase that, it's cost me $49,500, or I could lease it for $2,500 right now, base cost, and then they charge you per work day, but also per work hour. Okay, so that can get expensive, but sometimes when you don't quite have enough money to get something that you really need, uh, it's helpful to lease equipment. And the next one down shows uh, some cool things here. The animal dealer, we don't have any animals. You can jump here and go to your wardrobe again if you want to change something. Uh, and you can show which land is yours, farmland. And I forgot to mention, you can also get to that uh, if you're on the map by clicking in on the left joystick button. It will show which land is yours. Okay, so let's go back to this menu. The main thing you're going to go to this for is construction. So construction is where you add buildings or sell buildings. Okay, and each category has the categories below it. You can navigate using the uh, little X button there. This one looks like a cross. Can't remember what you call that. Somebody help me up. All right, production. This is where I mentioned you might put something into production and then you sell the products that it produces. Okay, you can scroll through that and look at those. And then you have different things under there. Oops. Animals you might want to get. You got decoration things you can add to your farm, such as lights and fences. And you got some landscaping functions. And this is a whole other video on how to use these things. Okay. And that's it. That's the menu. That's the whole uh, menu and controls here for Farming Simulator. Some basics to get you started. Uh, Come back in our episode number two, and we'll talk about some other things on the next step on uh, getting going here. So give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this with your other new farming buddies. And like I say, if you're a pro, give us some comments down below. And this is where you go to sleep, and we're going to sleep and go to the next day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.